Hello my dearest fire and desire. I'm Laurel and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your life. Okay, so um, this will be for February. The beginning of February, my loves. Spirit, I welcome you into this reading. Okay. So let's get this started for my fire, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Very interesting, darlings. There's some sort of deception still going on. There could be a relationship you need to give a chance. Okay, so, could be two situations going on here, two romantic connections, but there is some deceptive, unrequited love going down. Let's find out. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel as well. I'm so appreciative of it. Wow. These are those same cards you guys got. <clears throat> I remember that a lot of you guys, uh, the last time I did fire. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to run the tape back too. <laughs> and make sure I am correct. So. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You also could have been dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. Okay, so I'm envisioning these cards. You had some sort of unrequited love that happened with the Ten of Swords moment and someone was faced with temptation with the Five of Charles is here. Someone feels very, very stabbed in the back. Okay, here we go. So, so far. There, damn, I can't even pick the cards up together. Here we go. Just as they fell out. It says unrequited love. Then you have the Ten of Swords. And then you also have the five of charles is here so someone feels very very stabbed in the back you see that man he's on the cycle of being stabbed in the back and someone has was also faced temptation they could have been drinking as well looks like he's throwing up too shit but i also feel like they were faced with multiple things dangling in front of their face really trying to figure out where exactly or where they're gonna go are they gonna fall off the cliff or are they gonna drink what the fuck are they gonna do are they gonna dangle the fish to catch something else or what are they, what are they gonna do you know so some sort of unrequited love that you guys didn't want to hang around in anymore with the hangman in reverse you just didn't want to hang you couldn't do it you knew that it was very very unhealthy Definitely a lot of deception, a lot of heartbreak surrounded by this, a lot of temptation, a lot of um, desperation as well. But there was some, like I said, since there was some sort of deception, there was some unrequited love that happened 
Someone wasn't ready to give off any love anymore. Someone was dealing with someone who broke the union ship or there was something that was broken. In order for this to like really flourish into love, someone broke it with the union ship here, especially the lovers in reverse. Could have been a Gemini. But I also feel like you're defeated towards the situation and you've just kind of given up and you've meditated about it and you're just gonna mind your fucking business. Look, he kind of looks a little humble, like, you know, not that he's felt all the way defeated, but he's just like, all right, with this situation, uh, I think I'm done here. Let me keep my peace. Yeah, so, there could be some new shit coming your way as well, but this could be for just partial of you. doesn't apply let that motherfucking shit fly or whatever they be saying <laughs> so you don't you ain't hanging around in this no more yeah for sure somebody's like okay well let me get my coins let me plant my seeds in my garden and I'm leaving away from this shit Okay. Yeah, they definitely missed an opportunity with you for sure. You are out of there. Out of that water with the piranhas. You no longer feel like you need to bring any sort of passion towards this. You don't even want to fuck with it. Could be some sharp words that's exchanged with this. Could be a lot of, uh, you know missed promises and promise broken promises surrounded by this energy and someone didn't want to hang around with this shit anymore could have been that there was some shit that was exchanged and words as well that were very very sharp very hurtful and someone's not wanting to stick around this anymore so once you come out of this point of okay well let me get my coin and let me move the fuck around There is something that you could be uh, worth waiting for. Now, there for some of you, there could be, uh, you know, something that you're you feel like you're missing. Someone feels like they're uh, missing some sort of romantic involvement or a romantic gift from this person, possibly, or um, you could be missing out on what they used to give you. Shit like that with the Ace of Charlises in reverse. Um, I also feel like um, there could be someone who's blocked off some sort of communications where they had romantic feelings towards this situation or towards you. There's definitely a lot of pent up energy here. Could have been with a third party situation with the three of pentacles. I also feel like um, there could be parts of your relationship that you're entertaining that you have given the thought to keeping as well or whoever this person was that you were hanging around for they were hanging around with you uh, that you you know felt very severed to this connection or you felt like you needed to sever this connection um, I felt like you want to give this a chance and you're definitely reflecting on it reflecting on how you're going to give this a chance Definitely a lot of options in the air, a lot of things that you're thinking about that could be surrounded by this energy that this person brought to you as well. Shit, you could be going to the lake and really just like, you know, looking at water or really just reflecting on what it, what situations you had built up with this person or this energy. Someone who you had romantic feelings for or some sort of involvement um, that you're wanting to think about. Possibly giving it another chance could have been with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, um, but someone's not really wanting to open that door. They kind of blocked off communication or blocked off uh, receiving certain um, offers with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Very interesting. So it could be someone could feel like they've missed an opportunity 
or there was some hidden things that they didn't know about so they've kind of blocked off this open door towards this situation I definitely feel like with the ten of Charles is someone had some sort of upside down moment and there was a lot of deception surrounded by this energy you could have been dealing with a Pisces as well but definitely a lot of water energy here with the moon card and uh, uh, Pisces for sure but with the ten of Charles is in reverse someone who uh, didn't want to display some sort of emotions or they really just shut the fuck down and that's saying you know if you were to give your relationship a chance you know you kind of shut your feelings off toward this or you shut your feelings off to reflect on what it is that they weren't offering you with the ace of pentacles Someone you don't want to share anything with right now or they don't want to share something with you. Definitely with the Six of Pentacles in reverse here. You kind of dropped that ball and left that shit with them. But you're still, you know, in hopes of giving this a chance. And waiting to see if this is even worth, you know, was it worth the passion. But you know that it's like they've kind of, they fucked up. Somebody fucked up here. Somebody fucked up here. So, um, it could be that someone is trying to break those walls down or break some energy down. Um, there could be some engagements here that's definitely worth waiting for or some things that's definitely worth the wait for. There could be some situations that you guys are going to go through. Um, you know, having a hard time displaying passion, giving... There's a lot of fiery energy here uh, that you guys are having to display and not be fake you know and also with the king of sword energy you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius uh someone who has a hard time cutting away from you cutting away from passion with you but uh there's definitely some spying here with leo sagittarius aries definitely some spying with the page of swords that's been coming out with pretty much everyone's reading except for the earth signs i think yeah but that's that page of swords someone is gonna have some sort of message or thought come to them possibly but someone is definitely spying it could be um a gemini libra aquarius but i feel like there's someone who felt like they were scraping in the dust with you and they're kind of wanting to uh release themselves from this situation or they're still holding on to it even though they know they need to release themselves away from this situation definitely gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio a lot of fire energy here as well. But someone kind of just wants to take it slow with the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. So, very interesting. You guys could be dealing with uh, a party that you're really trying to leave behind uh, and you feel like you don't want to stand alone in this situation anymore and also you could be dealing with a uh, person who's not wanting to give out uh, some sort of offer or someone is going to try to come to you with some sort of offer that you're going to turn down Could be this person that you have romantic feelings for. Could be Gemini Libra Aquarius with the Queen of Swords as well. But someone who's kind of cut off some sort of connection here. Also could be Virgo Taurus Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles. But I really feel like someone has cut off some sort of connection, but they're trying to take it slow as well. They could be dealing with earthly travels. Um, interesting. It's like two different sides here. Okay, so, very interesting. Looks to me like someone severed some sort of old connection because they were coming out of some sort of heartbreak with the Ten of Swords. Also, they were dealing with some sort of temptation. There was some sort of family or marriage moment that you guys were dealing with. And it's just, you know, kind of thrown some things off. And you felt like you were standing alone in this situation with the hangman in reverse here. 
Um, you also could have been dealing with someone who was spying on you or someone who could have come in and out with messages or was trying to get a hold of you or someone who is uh, definitely looking up your social media with the page of swords here. But then you also have like this romantic vibe that's coming through that you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, but also someone that you definitely reflected on or there could be a lot of reflection that's just happening that you guys feel like you need to take care of first. Um, interesting. But someone's blocked off some sort of offer. But they don't want to stand around in this situation anymore. They felt like they weren't getting their way or there was some sort of thought that was coming to them that they felt someone needed to stay around in the situation or they had a hard time traveling away from the situation. You could have been dealing with someone who does travels as well or has a hard time getting back and forth to you. But I definitely feel like there could be uh, someone who's blocked off some sort of thought or communication towards the situation because they weren't getting their way or things weren't going their way. It could be that there's a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio or Gemini Libra Aquarius. Uh, that's in the midst things weren't going their way or um they were feeling like you know you guys thinking didn't match up well with each other um or there was some type of match up mishap that happened with the situation but they had a hard time being called away from it or turning their back on the situation but it's saying that you deserve love um, also, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sag another Leo Sagittarius Aries, someone who's just kind of blocked off communication or passion. Um, they're kind of just on some like flirtatious type, manipulative type shit. Uh, someone who kind of is not that serious. The King of Wands to me is not that serious, like with what he does. But he's, uh, you know, supposed to be creative, but his creativity can be blocked off. You also could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles, someone who wants to bring you some sort of message or some sort of news. You could be dealing with someone who has a uh, possible uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn uh, dealing with small and short land travels someone who could be young as well that could be in the mix someone's very practical uh, but I really feel like there could be some messages that could be coming your way or they're gonna try to shoot some type of messages or land travel your type your way after somebody threw a fucking hissy fit now there is going to be some justice that happens or some justice that's served, you guys. There's going to be somebody who uh, comes in possibly with a message or some news with some justice that's getting ready to pop off. Could be dealing with a Leo, I mean a uh, Libra with the justice card here. Look at her sword. She's coming in about to balance some shit out and cut some shit out too. And really gain some justice towards the situation, especially if this person messages you as, as well. Definitely some spying going on. Someone you could be dealing with in the past that's looking at your social media, looking at the shit that you do. But someone is definitely looking at your page, watching you with the page of swords here. And also this uh, ace of swords energy that someone is having a hard time bringing or being called to do. But someone's not getting their way and they could be on some manipulative ass shit. But you're going to get your justice here soon. Um, there could be some messages that could be coming your way of like someone trying to send you little love messages, you know, sending you how they love you or how they uh, miss you. But I feel like you kind of close this door. You close some sort of door uh, towards the situation with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and also the Ace of Swords here in reverse. Um, I also feel like it was definitely a third party situation going on. But there could, be, could have been a family situation as well that they were dealing with. Someone who was feeling like they were too giving towards the situation. Could have been Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. But someone is missing you, missing you dearly. And Or it could be that you're turning some emotions away. And you're feeling like this was out of loss. But you're leaving those emotions behind as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that shit. Could be third party situations or just heartbreak overall within a family situation or someone who kind of uh, felt like it wasn't equal give and take or there was a family situation that could have been blocking them from, you know, doing certain shit. So be on the lookout for that. I love you guys and peace.